during this broadcast regarding products or the claims made about specific products have not been evaluated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Products and treatments discussed are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. Make your physician aware of all nutritional supplements used and immediately notify your physician if you have any health concern or undiagnosed sign or symptom. Let's Talk Nutrition is a health talk show that features scientists, authors, nutrition specialists, personal trainers, holistic healers, and experts in traditional, natural, and integrative medicine. Listen for a chance to win daily prizes and follow Let's Talk Nutrition on Facebook and Instagram at Let's Talk Nutrition or on Twitter at LTN Radio. It's time for some inspiration. Tune in to get fit and healthy. It's time to talk about nutrition. Nutrition for your body, your mind, your spirit. It's time to talk about proper exercise, stress relief, eating well, and supplementation to help. Get ready to take charge of your health because your health is your wealth and the wealth of those who care about and love you. It's time for Let's Talk Nutrition with Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. Thanks for tuning in. I got to turn a mic on. You did it, Gary. (laughs) You'd think I'd know by now. Uh, great to be with you, and uh, it's a rainy day in Tampa, maybe in Georgia, too. You know the song, Rainy Day in Georgia. Can you name the artist who sang it? Come on. Ray Charles? Nope. Well, yes, but I don't think he's the one that made it popular. Think about it. Anyway, uh, hope you're off to a good start this week, and uh, you had a nice weekend, took care of yourself, did what you needed to do. Didn't cheat. No cheating. There's no cheating. Don't cheat. No cheat days. Um, <laughs> if you want to know why you shouldn't do that, visit my Facebook page. There's a video, a little vignette that Gary posted, and uh, it will tell you why. I know you want to reward yourself, but that's not the way to do it. It doesn't wor- it. <laughs> It's not a good idea. Just not a good idea. And uh, we're open in this first sec- uh, first portion of the show, so you can always get in touch with us. In the second portion, Steve Augustine will be along, and we'll chat with him from Wakanaga of America. And uh, that, that company is a, a wonderful supplement company. I've done work for them um, as a consultant. I do consult with... These companies, different companies uh, want me to do, ask me to do different things for them, given my background and, you know, the area of research and all that. So I know them to be there. No flash, no bang, no flash and bang under the radar. They just study class act and they're solid in their research. They have studies going on around the world at universities all the time. Interesting company. We're going to have an uplifting first hour today. I'm always reporting, you know, I feel like the um, nutritional uh, uh, grimster, (laughs) lifestyle grimster, Um, always, you know, so much negative news generally, but even in the world of health and medicine, it. There's, but there's a lot of hope out there, too. So we're going to have an optimistic first hour. And um, we'll invite you to join in. I love speaking with you. I appreciate you. Uh, I don't, we, we have a lot of faults. I have a lot of faults. But taking people for granted and taking the listening audience and a viewing audience for granted is not one of them. But the rest, I mean, we'll, I won't bore you with that list. Gary, how... <laughs> How do we? How can people connect? They can reach us at 877-897-8255, 877-897-8255, or at Dr. Garco at Let's Talk Nutrition.com. Don't forget to follow us on our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. Facebook is Let's Talk Nutrition, one word, as Instagram is at Let's Talk Nutrition. And uh, so we're now we're Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, what's the one? Where's what's the one uh, social media where it's just pictures, the images? That's the Instagram. That's Instagram. Yeah. And is, we're, you know, we're we're. Is there, a, so, is there a social media that is health related? 
exclusively? Is there such a concept? Well, yeah, we're coming up with Pinterest. Pinterest, we're going to start doing, we're going to start posting recipes and some more self-help things on, on our Pinterest feed. Good, good. Um, I got with Kristen with that last week about doing that. Good. And then what we do now on our Facebook page, since I've taken over that, is I'm actually trying to post the links to what we talk about. Okay. So you're not having to call in and try to find out from poor Steve, who's doing 30 million things already, <laughs> you know? Right. So, so what we're listing, like, for example, I'm going to be talking about this study out of the United Kingdom and Finland focusing on laughter. Ooh, how does that relate to health? So what we'll do, Gary, you'll, you'll post... I'll send I send that to Gary. Right. And then he posts it on my web on the Facebook page, right? Right. And so people can find it there. What we're planning on doing as well, can't do it right yet, because we only we have a four burner stove and eight pots, so we gotta get a bigger stove. Um, we're gonna post the supplements that I talk about each day. We're gonna hopefully we can get to that at some point, yes? Oh yeah. That's but you know, for now, I'm actually posting the companies, okay. so that way you can go to the to the actual so website. We'll, well, but then we'll we'll give you the specific supplements as well. So we're always trying to because you know not everybody can listen two hours straight. We go on the air at nine a uh, nine oh six a.m. technically on almost to eleven. You know, people they got jobs and this and that, so everything's on demand. And uh, yeah. I got a kidney stone question for you when you get a chance, by the way. All right. Lay it on me. Okay. And I have a, the neighbor I told you that became an ordained minister this weekend. Yes. Gets kidney stones because he drinks, I say, because he drinks a lot of sweet tea. And there's a lot of, you know, how how, much, do, how, how do you get. How much tea, how does he know it's attributable to the tea? Well, that's what I said. I said, I said that he drinks too much tea and not enough water. Is that possible? Yes, it is possible. And th has he ever had uh, episodes where it's so painful you, you want to ask the Almighty to take you? Yeah, he yeah he he was doubled over yesterday, and I'm like, what's going go. on? He's like, I'm passing the kidney stone. Really? Yeah, and he. Uh, I mean, and and I I don't know if if you know something that's uh, something naturopathic that could help him. Well, first thing you got to do. This is sort of like. Um, You can't put out a fire if you keep reigniting it. Exactly. So you gotta you gotta you gotta stop lighting the fire. You gotta go to the cause. And as long as you, you know, I can tell him a list of things he should do and take, but the first thing he's gotta do, if he believes it's the how much tea is he drink? Is he drinking it by the bucket or what? Yeah, you know those big, huge, thirsty bursties. It looks things. like a it looks like a paint bucket. Yeah. Right. I mean, it looks like one of them Homer buckets from Home Depot. I mean, he drinks. He, he says, "Well, I'm outside all day. I'm like, well, drink some water. Drink something else. <laughs> tell him to drink if he wants. You know, if he just can't drink water, tell him to drink some water. Put a little bit of lemon in it. Squeeze some lemon in it. Maybe a little stevia, and it's a quick, fast lemonade. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, he's. That's the first thing he's got to do. I tried some of that tart cherry this weekend. By the way, it's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Tell him okay. put it, add that a little, you know. I'm going to give him some, some that I have left over. So you can tell him you talk to me. The first thing, if he stops doing that, then I'll give him the recommendation. No, he's telling me what to do. You know, that's like that's like sending a pyromaniac into a, a fireworks factory, and and he hasn't been in therapy to correct his tendency <laughs> to want to light fires. Right? That no, you don't do that. Um, <laughs> uh, please, uh, the app. Somebody was asking me about the LTN app. Okay. On the LTN app, you can download it from Android or your iPhone. Okay. And once you download it, it's got three buttons. As a matter of fact, I'll walk you through it real quick. As soon as you download it, you open it up and it goes to videos, which are old videos that have been posted already. The previous. The previous shows. So 6.2 is already up there. Okay. So that's up there. Then you have offers. 
And the under offers when and you What are these offers? Okay, these offers are exclusive offers. Save five dollars off a thirty-five dollar purchase at more at vitamindiscountcenter.com online only. And it's you put a code in of Garco. And then it's got a little link where you can say visit online. But it's got a t- contact. So you can visit us online or you can contact us mm-hmm. immediately. Okay. So and also right download the iHeartMedia app too. And any other app that will get you connected to this show. Yeah. Do if, radio stations around the country, If I don't know if Stephen knows or not, or if you know, do they have apps as well, I wonder? Most of them do. Most of the stations now have their own their own app or their own, fit, or their own page where you can listen to the show live. Okay. It's all good. Laughter. Really? Does it, does it help with happiness and health? Let's find out. We'll... Have you experienced the wisdom of nature with Zyflamend Whole Body from New Chapter? Zyflamend is a 10 herb blend that delivers three health benefits. First, Zyflamend is an herbal approach to pain relief, helping to soothe minor pain or soreness. Second, Zyflamend is a joint supplement with time-tested herbs to support joint function and flexibility. And the third benefit, Zyflamend supports the body's healthy inflammation response, something that's essential for maintaining whole body health. Zyflamend is New Chapter's clinically tested blend of 10 remarkable herbs, including pure and potent, turmeric, ginger, and green tea. Zyflamend is non-GMO, project verified, gluten-free, and 100% vegetarian. New Chapter is a leader in supplement quality. Every ingredient, every product, every time. Discover Zyflamend, New Chapter's number one selling multi-herbal. Zyflamend is made with ginger for occasional pain relief after exercise. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. As a family-owned company since 1968, Now Foods has spent the last 46 years building a legacy in the natural health industry as a trusted leader. Now provides a comprehensive approach to wellness by offering more than 1,400 high-quality health foods, supplements, sports nutrition, and personal care products at an affordable price. Now believes that natural is better. They don't use artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners, and they offer many vegetarian, organic, and gluten-free products. Their foods are all non-GMO. Since their beginning, Now has grown grown to become an award-winning leader in the natural health industry. But one thing has never changed, their commitment to providing the highest quality products at the best value to empower people to lead healthier lives. High quality doesn't have to mean high price. From essential oils to amino acids, multivitamins to natural sweeteners, Now has you covered. To find a store near you that carries Now products or for more information, visit nowfoods.com. That's nowfoods.com. When you're passionate about your health, that passion leads to the knowledge that exercise and a healthy diet are not always enough. Sometimes you need the extra nutritional boost that only supplements can provide. If you are looking for the leading national brands of vitamins, supplements, health, and beauty, weight loss, or sports nutrition products, look no further than Vitamin Discount Center. Voted Best Independent Chain by Vitamin Retailer Magazine, Vitamin Discount Center has been a trusted and valuable nutrition resource to the Tampa Bay area for over 15 years. With daily savings up to 50%, Vitamin and Discount Center offers the best prices on the highest quality nutritional supplements. Not only will you find unbeatable value, your visit includes access to a staff educated on the application of products to help equip you with the products and information you need to proactively improve your health. To locate the store nearest you, visit vitamindiscountcenter.com as well as access to articles on popular health topics, promotions, events, and thousands of products to shop from right at home. Your search for an affordable solution to better health is finally over. Vitamin Discount Center. For life Life for less. Feel tired, lethargic, or irritable? Take solace. You're one of millions of Americans that has trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. In fact, according to a national survey, 54% of adults have trouble sleeping. So what can you do about it? Take Solace. Solace is an all-natural dietary supplement formulated to support healthy sleep and relaxation. Solace can help you fall asleep and stay asleep naturally. Formulated with all-natural ingredients, Solace is non-addictive and won't leave you feeling groggy in the morning. Take Solace an hour before bed and feel the calming effects of this extreme extensively researched sleep and relaxation aid. For more information on Solace, call toll-free 877-533-7066 or visit takesolace.com. That's 877-533-7066 or take solus.com. Look for Solace in your local health and nutrition store. Solace for a good night's rest naturally.
Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Alga Life, Algae for Life, CV Sciences, From Seed to Shelf, New Chapter, The Benefit of Nature's Wisdom, NeoCell, The True Science of Collagen, Yerba Prima, Pioneers in Internal Cleansing, Form Essentials, Makers of the Sleep Aid Solace, now introducing Zinnia for healthy hair, skin, and nails. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome back. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition, wherever and however you may be listening or watching the show and whatever you may be doing. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, Going to try to refrain from reporting on these end of day stories. <laughs> My goodness, so much negative news. And I thought, you know, let's let's just, you know, there are there are good things to talk about and optimistic things, optimism being one of them. And um, there's a story that was trending this morning. It's about laughter. Mm. Now, one of the things that <laughs> I know I reference my mother a lot, but I can't help it. Um, my repertoire of what I am is primarily <laughs> from her genes and everything else and my dad. Um, my mother had a wonderful sense of humor and laughed. Uh, she loved, I mean, yeah. Although she was a very complex woman. And I mean complicated, psychologically complicated. She could, she could, you know, move more away from that and get a little darker. Nevertheless, on the whole, she taught me to laugh and, and be happy as a child. I mean, I know you say that sounds odd. How do you teach somebody that? Yes. You can also teach children what is called learn helplessness which is fueled by uh, a lack of hope and fear, lack of optimism. Martin Seligman talks about this in his book, Learned Helplessness. And then he followed up with a book called Learned Optimism. I highly recommend those two books by Seligman. Optimism is fueled by hope. It seems we are we are wired to have hope. Turns out that laughter is a component that gets woven into all of this uh, hope and happiness, optimism, good health. Hovering, helicoptering mothers. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm not. I'm not a big fan. You are. You are. You are. Uh, you were the last of twelve. Twelve. I'm Cheryl, the last of twelve. 12. I'm the last of twelve. Okay. I, I seriously doubt if your mother was hovering over oh, you. No. She didn't have time. No, she didn't. And it was, I mean, I learned how to make, you know, breakfast and cook and everything by myself. Learned how to do my own laundry. I learned how to sew, Doc. And it's funny. My mom taught me that, too. At her Singer sewing machine, I yeah. would sit there by her feet as she, you know, pumped the pedal and... I would sometimes. Did she have electric pump, or did she have one of those treadles? Pump, pump, pump the pedal. Oh, the treadle. Okay. So... We watch we watch a lot of shows, uh, outdoor shows, and one of the ones we've been watching right now is this log cabin living. And on this show, this lady the other day goes, "I don't want to buy this house because the counter's too high. I can't watch my kids eat." There you go. See, that's a thoughtful mother. Now, I don't know what was going on in your house, a household, Gary, but 12, 12, 12, 12 children. She was busy. And I suspect, did she have a sense of humor? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Did your dad have a sense of humor? Oh, yeah. Your dad was a pretty funny guy. My, my, my dad, by the time that I came, my dad, by, by the time that I came around, my dad was at the point of just throwing his hands up at everything. And it was hilarious because. But did he have a sense of humor? He's pretty oh, funny. Yeah. Pretty funny, dude. Oh, you've heard the stories. Uh, he, Gary tells me stories about his father. One day I was on the floor in here laughing. Nevertheless. Laughter is good. We laugh at things, Doc. Me and you, we go out. All the time. And it's wonderful. And it triggers hormones. In particular, laughter from this study from Finland and the UK, the researchers there, found that it releases endorphins. They're, sometimes they're called feel-good hormones. And they're located in your brain. And it's responsible uh, for, in the part of the brain where arousal and emotion exist. The endorphins, to be technical, are peptides. 
and they interact with opioid receptors that you have in your brain that relieve pain and trigger the feelings of pleasure. Okay? So the laughter is not just something, a behavior or an emotion. It is intimately connected to your, to your brain and to those portions of the brain that are responsible for feelings of pleasure. Furthermore, the study showed that the more opioid receptors people have in their brain regions, uh, that becomes associated with the processing of emotions. That makes sense. And then the more engaged they are in social laughter. Interesting. Very interesting. Here's what one of the co-authors said, a Dr. Uh, a Dr. Laura uh, Numenama uh, from University of Turk in Finland. She said, quote, our results highlight that endorphin release induced by social laughter may be an important pathway that supports formation, reinforcement, and maintenance of social bonds between humans, close quote. Think about it. Laughing is infectious. People, when, when you hear somebody laugh or see them laugh, you, you're, you're automatically drawn to it. You're, you're automatically pulled in, and it, 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 it's, it's a wonderful experience, right? Although, when we see people dramatically upset, that also is, attracts us, but in a different way. Chewbacca mom. What's that? Chewbacca. You don't know about Chewbacca Mom? I'm going to show you Chewbacca Mom during the break, and we're going to film it. All right. Chewbacca Mom. I don't know what that is. I'm here to learn. Give us a call real quick. You can reach us at 877-897-8255. It's 877-897-8255. Laughter. If you didn't already notice, if you've been listening to me for 12 years, I love to laugh. And I can, you know, sort of a dark sense of gallows zoom humor. I even laugh at, I was laughing during chemo and radiation. Are you kidding me? Looking for the perfect complement to your beauty regimen? Try Form Essentials Zinnia. The finest of its kind, Zinnia offers twice as much biotin as other formulas, which has proven to unlock the vibrancy in even the dullest of hair, skin, and nails. Zinnia breaks through and rejuvenates cells internally, helping you achieve the allure of effortless beauty. Reviving your hair, skin, and nails has never been easier. This essential blend of biotin, alpha-lipoic, and hyaluronic acid, collagen, and vitamin C creates lasting enhancements to your natural good looks. Don't go on wondering. You're worth the results. This combination of ingredients can only be found in Zinnia. Pamper yourself with a proven bit of affordable luxury and start looking your best. Ask for Zinnia by name at your nearest vitamin retailer to begin your journey to restored nails, head turning hair, and radiant skin today. For more information, visit formessentials.com. When your alarm goes off, do you jump out of bed with excitement? Or does it take multiple alarms, a few snooze buttons, or a morning caffeine fix to get you going? These habits and daily stress cause a vicious cycle in which sleep becomes increasingly elusive. In fact, 54% of Americans report struggles to fall or stay asleep. For a better night's rest, look no further than Solace, an all-natural dietary supplement that supports healthy sleep and relaxation so you get the rest you need to wake up clear-eyed, alert, and ready for the day. Solace has given thousands a better night's rest and the power to take back their mornings while enjoying the day ahead of them. Solace is formulated with non-addictive, scientifically proven, all-natural ingredients that support sleep and relaxation, such as melatonin, tryptophan, and 5-HTP. For more information or to order Solace, visit takesolace.com. Solace, for healthy sleep naturally.
Welcome back. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition, wherever and however you may be listening or watching the show and whatever you may be doing. Let's go to Tampa, Florida. Carolyn, welcome to the show and happy Monday to you. Oh, thank you, Dr. Garko. So nice to hear you today. Nice to, nice to have you on. Uh, yes, um, I would like to um, contribute some information on kidney stones. Oh, yeah. Gary's uh, friend who's just got ordained uh, a minister last evening drinks a lot of tea, and he claims that the tea is causing him kidney stones, which could very well be, but he need, he wanted to know what he could do. And, you know, you don't need to go to med school, but he needs to stop drinking all that tea by the bucket, but go ahead. Well, the tea probably um, has a lot of acid, and the mixture of acid and calcium together can create stones if you're not taking magnesium. <laughs> That's what I have learned from um, research and also, from the experiences of family members and mm. friends who have had kidney stones. It's kidney stones are these, uh, they're like little pebbles, and they're constituted of salt and mineral, and they're found in the urine. Um, and they're, they're very painful. I'm sure you, you have had family members tell you that, right? Oh, yes. My, my son was admitted to the hospital a couple of years ago and diagnosed with two kidney stones. And he passed one stone while he was in the hospital. And I had read about research by Canadian doctors using reconstituted uh, lemon juice. Well, that yes, I've, I've heard that too. There are many natural therapies for it, but the diet is where to begin in the first place. Eating a lot of meat, eating a lot of processed foods, eating a lot of... Uh, these foods that will, I'll, I'll get more into it. You know, you get me now, you get me thinking about it. It might be worth uh, exploring this a bit more. But do you have some natural, the lemon juice, any other natural therapy that you've heard or read about? Um, well, with my son, it worked because when he was dismissed from the hospital, he still had a kidney stone. So mm. we bought a quart sized bottle of the lemon juice. And over the next few days, he took it with water. Mm. And Apparently, the stone dissolved because he was never aware of passing it. Okay. Well, that and worked, right? It did. And well, it I'll, I'll, I'm going to check to see if there's any, any, any science to support that. But I, maybe I should talk more about kidney stones. It, it, it is prevalent. And, uh, yes, and um, apparently it's caused by the same thing that cause, causes gout. It's all... It can all be. has to do with, with the acid, with uric acid. And yeah, eating a lot of meat acid. and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Right. And, um, a plant-based diet, eating more plants would c help cure that, you know. And taking a magnesium supplement also. Yes. Because I had um, a female friend. I told her about the lemon juice because she was diagnosed with bladder stones. And mm. the lemon juice worked for her, but it left her with a bladder infection. Oh, ooh. Well, wow. and then she took uh, D mannose. Her doctor wanted to prescribe uh, some strong antibiotic that had terrible side effects, and instead she took the D mannose, and and that cleared up the bladder infection right away. Okay, so that you see, there's always one thing leads to another, right? Uh, wow. Right, but um, but the main thing, like with Gary's friend, um, if he's if he's drinking a lot of uh, tea and also eating. Uh, calcium foods, or even yep. taking calcium without magnesium. Mm -hmm. um, he'll, he'll, it, it's not helping matters, right? So like right. I said, what he should be doing, add a little lemon to his water. If it's not sweet enough, put a little stevia on it and let that substitute for the, all that tea he's drinking. So we're on the same page. I, I picked lemon because I had known about that therapy, natural therapy, for a long time, too. But I thank you for reminding me, yes. Carolyn. Yes, the, the Canadian doctor said that the real lemon juice does, I mean, the fruit itself doesn't work. It has to be the reconstituted. Reconstituted. Lemon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, good enough. Thank and you. Then if, you're, then if you're left with an infection, the, the, the D-mannose. <laughs> All right, Carolyn. Thank you so much. Oh, thank Appreciate you for, it. Letting, for letting me share it with you. Oh, absolutely. Have That's a why we, day. You do the same. Have a nice week. Dan, you like to laugh? Good morning, Doc. You like to laugh? <laughs> well, I really appreciated your topic today about the therapeutic value of uh, laughter and laughing. Mm. And so I couldn't resist calling with this, with, with this one comment. It goes like this. When you're smiling... 
Amen. When you're smiling, Amen. the whole world smiles with you. When you're laughing, hey. when you're laughing, the sun comes shining through. But when you're crying, yes, nice you bring on the rain. Stop that sighing. <laughs> Be happy uh, again when you're smiling. All right. When you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. All right. That's a first. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, man. Daniel, <laughs> thank you. We let you sing the whole thing. I didn't cut you off. Thank you so much. You're a tr- you're an angel. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. You're my pleasure. That's a first. Nobody's ever sung a song on the show. That's good, right? That is. Oh man, you gotta like you know, that. You know, it's it's but it's true though. Everything he says, you know, it's that that song says it's true. It is true. It isn't so infectious. Uh now, you know, the study it's the science of laughter. I mean, we, yeah, I get that. Uh, but we, we instinctively know that laughter is good for us. I won't get into the details of how they did this study, but it was clever how they did it, how they were able to measure the endorphins in the brain. And they did a, using a PET scan of all things. I won't bore you with those details. Suffice it to say that the study was done very well. It's solid. And, you know, laughter does light up that portion of the brain where the endorphins are and the emotions and the 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 a pleasure portion of the brain. It's amazing. So try to keep smiling like Daniel's just, you know, when you're smiling, that song. I don't know what year that song came out, but I remember hearing that song as a kid. So keep smiling. Now, it is connected to optimism, of course, and happiness. Um and I've talked about it on the show at different times over the years, this whole business about optimism. I believe I even posted um, some articles on optimism uh, at some point, and I had this one uh, one source up. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, I was talking where I was looking at uh, optimism. When I come back, uh, I'll clue you in to some things you can read. What concerns me, the flip side of optimism, you know, hope is connected to optimism. Hopelessness is connected to pessimism. As it turns out, with children, what parents and others around the children, and primarily from parental influence, can learn to be hopeful and they can learn to be hopeless and helpless there's a big learned component here martin seligman talks a lot about that i'll share that with you just to raise our consciousness about it being hopeful on ltn coast to coast don't be stressed out or anxious take hempanol the only raw co2 hemp extract available it's 100 organic with wild oregano p73 extract you might have heard about cbd but there's no comparison. Hempanol has the power and potency you need to support your nervous system, stay calm and focused, and maintain a healthy immune system. Unlike other CBD oils, Hempanol contains the full spectrum of phytocannabinoids. Take Hempanol and feel great. And if you suffer from insomnia and can't seem to get that full night's rest, try Hempanol PM. Hempanol PM is specifically formulated to get you the rest you need without feeling sluggish when you wake. It's non addictive, completely natural, and leaves you feeling energetic and ready to take on the day. To place your order, to find out where to find Hepanol in your area, call 1-800-243-5242. 800-243-5242. Or visit us at oregano.com. If you've ever had digestive issues slow you down, it's time to live digestively with the number one high-potency probiotic, Ultimate Flora. Because with 50 billion live cultures inside you, life feels a little lighter, a little livelier, a little more you. No matter where life takes you, live digestively with Ultimate Flora Probiotics from Renew Life. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Number one probiotic brand with 15 billion or more cultures based on annual sales. 
How can a sweet little fruit gummy help you live digestively? Ultimate Flora Probiotic Gummies put the ultimate natural digestive support to work inside you to help you feel a little lighter, a little more you. And if raspberry lemonade's a little more you, feel bubbly in a good way with Ultimate Flora Probiotic Fizzy Drink Mix. Ultimate Flora Probiotic Gummies and Fizzy Drink Mix, two great ways to live digestively, deliciously. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Feeling tired after your meal? Occasional gas, bloating, or indigestion at inopportune times? You may have an enzyme deficiency. Did you know that many common digestive discomforts can be caused by poor digestion? When food isn't completely digested, it begins to ferment in the digestive tract, which may cause uncomfortable symptoms. Digest Gold, America's number one selling enzyme product, offers unparalleled support for your digestive needs. It contains exclusive blends of enzymes optimized to be three times stronger and work more than six times faster than other leading digestive supplements. With just one capsule per meal, Digest Gold offers support to break down carbohydrates, fats, fiber, and protein. Enzymetica products are all natural, vegetarian, contain absolutely no fillers, and are vegan and kosher when possible. You'll find Digest Gold and other Enzymedica products at fine health food stores near you. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Want to get at the core issues that make weight loss so difficult? Try PGX from Natural Factors. This revolutionary product is clinically shown to help people achieve their ideal body weight in a safe, natural way. PGX helps you feel full for hours, dramatically reduces the glycemic index of any food or meal, and ultimately causes the release of the compounds that achieve two important goals in weight loss. One, telling your brain that you're satisfied so you eat less, and two, improving the action of the hormone insulin. As medical doctor Mark Hyman said in his best-selling book, Eat Fat, Get Thin, if you choose to use only one supplement, PGX is the most important. If you've ever tried to lose weight and failed, you need the tremendous support of PGX from Natural Factors. For more information on making your weight loss dream a near effortless reality, visit PGX.com. Still looking for your fountain of youth? It's Zinnia. Look no further than the beauty aisle of your favorite health and nutrition store. Zinnia is the newest product from Form Essentials, the brand that brought you solace. So you know it's filled with the highest quality ingredients. Many cosmetic products only treat topically, while Zinnia addresses aging and hair loss from within. Formulated to support the growth of radiant hair, skin, and nails, Zinnia is sure to help you turn back the hands of time and assist you in aging gracefully. Zinnia provides a spectrum of key vitamins and other evidence-based natural ingredients ingredients such as alpha lipoic acid, biotin, and collagen and elastin peptides, all combined in one capsule for your convenience. By promoting beauty from the inside out, you're strengthening your cells and creating a lasting enhancement to your natural beauty. Zinnia fits into your daily routine and can be taken to boost your current cosmetic products. Available now at leading health and nutrition stores. Ask for Zinnia by name. Start taking Zinnia hair, skin, and nails today and get ready to look amazing. Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Jaro Formulas, superior nutrition and formulation. Natural factors where great health begins. Kyolic, aging makes the finest garlic truly odorless. A. Vogel, Europe's leading brand of herbal medicine. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. There is, there is substantial science to show us and support the idea that people can learn to be optimistic and they can learn to be pessimistic. It's not necessarily genetic. Welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition. Uh, this conversation is inspired by a study that was trending this morning about laughter with from researchers out of Finland and the United Kingdom. And they showed that laughter is connected to that portion of the brain where endorphins and opioids and the pleasure, pleasure center of the brain uh, and how laughter is inter makes it light up, literally. Using, they used PET scans, of all things, to, to show this. And it is infectious. But you know what? So is pessimism. Hang around people who are pessimistic, and, and they tell you, it, it, 
that can be infectious too, unfortunately. That's not a good idea. This whole idea of learned optimism, Martin Seligman is a person that you might want to read in his book, Learned Optimism. He also has a book called Learned Helplessness. Uh, the book was written back in 1990. It's still relevant. Martin Seligman um, is one of those, he's, he's considered the father of positive psychology. Now, there's been some criticism of positive psychology. They think it's become too commercialized and whatnot. Nevertheless, it's a valid area of psychology, legitimate science and research go on there with legitimate uh, purpose. Nevertheless, optimism, uh, optimists are high achievers and have better overall health. Those are two conclusions reached from the research. They do have better health. Pessimism, on the other hand, ironically, is more common. And pessimists are likely or more likely to give up in the face of adversity or to suffer from depression. The last thing we need is to have pessimists on the police force, firefighters, surgeons, pilots, anybody that has the destiny of others in their hands. You don't want some pessimist doing that, <laughs> it seems to me. However, stress, like with, with uh, police officers, under the tremendous stress that, they're, that they experience, can dampen down any optimism. Soldiers, military, right? And there's an interesting story I'll tell you about it. The military. Now, optimists, they react to adversity in a way that helps them push through it. And uh, they, the difference between pessimists and optimists is what they call explanatory style. What are they trying to explain? What happened to them? An optimist, optimists believe that uh, people believe that bad events are temporary than permanent. And they, they tend to recover quickly from failure. Whereas um, pessimists may take longer periods to recover or may ne never recover. We see this in athletics. Baseball, for example, or a quarterback. Horrible game. They need to, they need to bounce back. Optim an optimistic pitcher who got hammered during one game comes out the next and pitches a no-hitter. Pessimist most likely wouldn't do that. Pessimistic pitcher. You get my point here. So they pessimists, uh, optimists don't believe that adversity is temporary. Pessimists believe that it's permanent. Optimist pe optimists compartmentalize helplessness, whereas pessimists assume that failure in one area of their life carries over into all areas of their life. In other words, it's pervasive. Another feature that makes them different, optimists blame the bad event on causes that are outside themselves, whereas pessimists blame themselves. Listen to the interviews with athletes after a game pitcher quarterback or any you know tennis player whatever listen to how they explain why they lost a pessimist will say will, will attribute more the loss more to them than to others or circumstances it's interesting how that works this is this works pretty well you've seen that right gary Oh yeah! Oh, unbelievable! I mean, you would when I was a police officer. If I rode in a car with a guy who had a bad attitude, I would try to get out of the car. I would try to go find. Some what would be a bad attitude for a police officer? What would they say that would be dark? And something um, about the job that what they're experiencing on the job. To hop in the car and go, hey, we need to put somebody in jail today. They would say that. Oh yeah, there's guys that say that now. Oh my, there's. I mean, why would they? What's what's going on in her head? 
Um, my goodness. But if they have a... Officers make mistakes, right? They make mistakes. Right. Bad things happen. A pessimist would hold on to that mistake and make it a feature of everything they do as a police officer. An optimist wouldn't do that. Say, you know what? I handled that traffic stop poorly. It doesn't mean that he, it doesn't mean I'm a bad cop. I'll do better the next time. That that's where an optimist might handle it. You follow what I'm saying? Oh yeah. This is something that's been established. You can observe it yourself. You can see it. Just look for it. And watch how people explain bad events. I've had I saw that in students. They would fail an exam. They come to my office and I would just sit there and listen. I would have someone some come in and you know, Dr. Gark, I didn't do well on the exam because and they would give me a list of reasons. Now they weren't making excuses. They say, I know I can do better and you know I'll do better on my next exam. But there were some intervening intervening variables, so to speak. And it's interesting. They were optimistic and they would do better on their next exam. Whereas a pessimist, oh, well, I don't know if I can do it. It's too hard, blah, blah, blah. And I'd sit there and then I have to try to convince them that not to be so dark and pessimistic. Difficult, difficult. So we see it in every aspect of our life. It affects your health. Optimists have better health. They have better immune systems. They tend to be... Uh, their lifestyle is is more optimistic filled the science is there to support stay tuned learn more we'll be back in the second hour with steve augustine we'll find out if he's optimistic or pessimistic let's see what he says sometimes people are very honest i'll, I'll ask him that question so i'm a little pessimistic really Ooh, i don't know if he'll say that you are listening to let's talk nutrition or optimism rises every day. Or at yerbaprima.com. Why?
Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. Thanks for stopping by today. I misspoke. Uh, Steve Augustine is not on, but he has. Uh, but who is going to be on this hour is Dr. Patrick Buick. And he's not calling from South Carolina or South Dakota. He's calling from South Africa. <laughs> so, yeah, we like that. We have guests from all over the world. And Dr. Buick is uh, he's an immunopathologist. Uh, uh, I know that he, uh, my recollection, somehow that France comes to mind. Uh, where did, I'm getting that from, I don't know. I'll have to see. Um, I think he went to school there. We'll see if my memory, I don't know. I know he's board-certified immunologist. Uh, I know that. And I know he's in South Africa, Cape Town. Um, and an excellent researcher. Uh, has great insight. I've sp spoken with him a couple of times over the years. I enjoy having him on the show. And I get, you know, I, I've never met him in person. But I get, you know, in the first portion of the show, if you missed it, I was talking about this new study on laughter. Then I connected it to a bigger theme of optimism and how optimism is fueled by hope and that pessimism is fueled by hopelessness, which is connected to learned helplessness. Look at, take a look, look at the work of Martin Seligman and you will find a book on learned optimism Learned helplessness. Notice learned. It's with Dr. Buick, when I spoke with him on other occasions, I got a sense, I, I just got this vibe of optimism. Now, I don't know if it was because he was on air with me, but that's sometimes very hard to feign or fake. And, and you, I'm a pretty good, I have a pretty good read on, on individuals. I'm wrong at times, for sure, no doubt. I have, you know, you sort of develop a, a skill for that when you're doing a radio show in particular because the person's not in front of you. And you have to be paid keen attention to the way they talk, the nonverbal, which includes how they talk, their voice, their intonation, all of it, everything that's not verbal. Hmm. I don't know. Now, if I ask him if he's an optimist or pessimist, he'll probably say pes optimist, but we'll see. We're going to chat with him. Very smart, great researcher, knows what he's talking about. And he's going to talk about something that really make, can, is one of the necessary conditions to live a, live a long life. You know that thing called the immune system? Yeah. Here's a way to get in touch with Dr. Buick and the show. Just do this. You can reach us at 877-897-8255. That's 877-897-8255. And if you don't want to go on the radio, reach out to us on Facebook at Let's Talk Nutrition. One word. Mm -hmm. uh, so, again, you got these concepts. Helplessness, happiness, hopefulness, hope. Optimism, pessimism, all mix, optimism and pessimism, the big concepts, everything sort of subsumed underneath it. In the positive psychology domain, happiness is a big deal. They're talking about happiness all the time. And how we seem to have this, almost this innate drive to be happy. Now, people try to find their happiness in different ways. Some people can be ha made happy or become happy by very little. Others, not so much. And keep trying to fill that void, pe wanting to be happy. Happiness. I know that's a touchy-feely concept. I, I understand that. That sort of t may turn some people off. But... It's a real concept. It's a real feature of what we are. And it is connected to biology. It's an intriguing area. It's something worth pursuing in your own, if you're own, in your own interests. If you, if you want to read, there's plenty to read and learn about this idea of optimism versus pessimism. 
hopeful, be, being hopeful rather than being helpless and how that is learned. And it starts early in life. Early in life. The way you talk to children. How you, the way you interact, how, how you treat them. The things that you say and do. They're so impressionable. You're the model. And you'll find a correlation between pessimistic parents and pessimistic children. And children who get abused, right? Physically, emotionally, you know, psycho psycho-emotionally, physically, that abuse. It's no accident that, that depression goes with that, but a feeling of learned helplessness. And not being optimistic. It's very difficult for them to be optimistic. So you see how relevant this is. And it carries over into adulthood. As I said, just, just want to frame that for you. It's an area worth reading uh, about studying, considering. As I said, Dr. Patrick Buick is my guest today. I'm so glad he's on. Um, I enjoy my conversations with him when he's on. He is in South Africa. I believe he's in Cape Town or near it. Dr. Buick, welcome back. Did I did you go to school in France? Why am I why am I why is that in my head? Very good memory, Michael. Um hi uh, listeners and wonderful opportunity again for you for, for me to be on your show, Dr. Michael. Um well France is because I actually studied my immunology, my immunopathology at the French University. I, I was born in Mauritius, and we obviously, like many Mauritians, immigrated to South Africa. I was quite an, at an early age, and I went to university here, and I was very fortunate to be given a scholarship to go to a French university. Mm. Hence, uh, I studied, I did my PhD in immunopathology at the French University in Lyon. Obviously, married a French lady and brought her back here to Cape Town. Well, lucky for you. <laughs> yeah, very so lucky. Hot, hot. You know, Dr. Go ahead, go ahead, Dr. Buick, go ahead. You know, you were just you were just talking about, you know, the optimism versus pessimism and what have you. I always say happy people are never ill. And the reason for that is because happy feelings get the actual neurotransmitters in our brain secreted and these are incredibly important molecules that bind to the cells which circulate in our body which protects us against infections and viruses etc and in that way primes those immune cells so that you very very seldom actually get ill the turn is actually very sad because mm. you know, pessimism kills people mm. it takes away the hope of the people mm -hmm. turns out there is science to validate or otherwise confirm the hypothesis that optimism boosts the immune system that is right in your wheelhouse <laughs> definitely you know it used to be called pni or psycho neuroimmunology until recently you know at the time when we when when the authors and scientists were first sort of describing this phenomenon of how the psychological state impacted on the way the immune system worked they were looking for mechanisms whereby these so-called neurotransmitters could bind directly to the immune cells, and it was a pretty difficult task. Until we realized, in fact, that what was happening is that psychologically the, neuro, the neurotransmitters being secreted were binding to endocrine organs, and in fact it was the endocrine hormones that subsequently bound to the immune cells. This is interesting. The do the en do, do, is, is there some ironic be connection because of the words between endorphins and the endocrine system? Oh, yeah. Okay. E&E. E. Definitely. When we come back, yeah, we're gonna, we'll explore yeah. this further. And I, I, I presume you wanted to talk about Modicare, which is an immune-related um, kind of dietary supplement of sterols and sterilins. And this is right, right in that area of the, the theme that we want to look into. Dr. Patrick Buick on LTN, Coast to Coast. At Country Life Vitamins, we've been helping people live happy, healthy lives since 1971, and we believe integrity should always be our number one ingredient. 
we are committed to this belief because you deserve high quality nutrition, specifically crafted with the highest standards to support your health. Country Life's manufacturing facility is an NSF GMP registered facility, as well as USDA certified organic, so you can feel good about the products you're taking. Country Life Vitamins is also the first supplement company in the United States to have a complete line of products certified gluten free. That's over 500 products. Country Life Vitamins Pledge of Integrity is based on five standards authenticity, cleanliness, freshness, consistency, and accuracy. Ask for Country Life's top selling products such as Coenzyme B Advanced for increased energy or Flex Able for joint health. Country Life Vitamins commitment to ensure all of our products are pure, wholesome, gluten free supplements full of natural goodness provides peace of mind with the knowledge you are using a brand you can trust are you suffering from those awful allergies hay fever sneezing watery eyes here's some advice you won't want to miss i'm a doctor and my patients used to dread allergy season but then i discovered a vogel allergy relief a unique combination of natural ingredients that usually addresses every one of my patients symptoms and while it's clear that the vast majority of my patients benefit significantly from Avogel Allergy Relief, what's even more amazing is that after using it, at least half of my patients' symptoms didn't return. As a doctor, that's the kind of outcome my patients and I can appreciate. Get doctor-recommended Avogel Allergy Relief for your allergy symptoms. It's proven safe, it doesn't make you drowsy, it's fast-acting, and it may even help prevent your allergies from returning. Available at Vitamin Discount Centers, Richards, Rollin' Oats, Vitamin Shop, Nutrition Smart, and other fine health food stores. When you're passionate about your health, that passion leads to the knowledge that exercise and a healthy diet are not always enough. Sometimes you need the extra nutritional boost that only supplements can provide. If you are looking for the leading national brands of vitamins, supplements, health, and beauty, weight loss, or sports nutrition products, look no further than Vitamin Discount Center. Voted Best Independent Chain by Vitamin Retailer Magazine, Vitamin Discount Center has been a trusted and valuable nutrition resource to the Tampa Bay area for over 15 years. With daily savings up to 50%, Vitamin Discount Center offers the best prices on the highest quality nutritional supplements. Not only will you find unbeatable value, your visit includes access to a staff educated on the application of products to help equip you with the products and information you need to proactively improve your health. To locate the store nearest you, visit vitamindiscountcenter.com, as well as access to articles on popular health topics, promotions, events, and thousands of products to shop from right at home. Your search for an affordable solution to better health is finally over. Vitamin Discount Center. For life for less. Feel tired, lethargic, or irritable? Take solace. You're one of millions of Americans that has trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. In fact, according to a national survey, 54% of adults have trouble sleeping. So what can you do about it? Take Solace. Solace is an all-natural dietary supplement formulated to support healthy sleep and relaxation. Solace can help you fall asleep and stay asleep naturally. Formulated with all-natural ingredients, Solace is non-addictive and won't leave you feeling groggy in the morning. Take Solace an hour before bed and feel the calming effects of this experience extensively researched sleep and relaxation aid. For more information on Solace, call toll-free 877-533-7066 or visit takesolace.com. That's 877-533-7066 or take solus.com. Look for Solace in your local health and nutrition store. Solace for a good night's rest naturally. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Alga Life, Algae for Life, CV Sciences, from seed to shelf. New chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. NeoCell, the true science of collagen. Yerba Prima, pioneers in internal cleansing. Form Essentials, makers of the sleep aid Solace. Now introducing Zinnia for healthy hair, skin, and nails. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Sometimes we search for those things that will help us with our health, wellness, and well-being that are in the domain of medical science or the, the practice of medicine, both traditional and integrative, you know, non-traditional, and look for nutraceuticals, pharmaceuticals, 
aromatherapy, acupuncture, and so on and so on. Sometimes, though, there are things that affect us that don't come in a bottle, don't come in a pill, can't be necessarily prescribed, optimism being one of them. Turns out that there is a connection between optimism being fueled by hope. It's the underpinning uh, element of, of optimism, hope, and your immune system. We know that people who are optimistic, there is science to support this, have better immune systems, a better immune response. My guest today, Dr. Patrick Buick, calling from South Africa today, is an expert in, in, in the immune system. Uh, his credentials uh, speak to that and has a wonderful education and is an immunopathologist studied in France at Lyon, as you heard him say, uh, and uh, lives now in South East. He, he, fortunately, he met his wife there, who is French, and as I said, lucky for him, went back to South Africa and now is... Uh, Dr. Buick, welcome back. Are, how do you describe? You, to, how do you describe to your friends uh, and others who meet you what you do for a living? What do you say? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> my definition of what I do for a living is I I hope to make people healthier. Mm. I hope to bring them hope in the face of chronic diseases. Mm. Um, as you quite rightly say, I am an immunopathologist, but I mean. You know, trying to help the immune system along is just one aspect. And I think what very often people are looking for is the psychological support. You know, I, I just want to go back to before I came on air. You were talking about mm. abuse. Yes. You know, abuse of children, abuse of adults. You know, what people don't realize is how broken that immune system of that person is when they have been abused for years and years and years. Mm. And it's not a surprising feature to see abused children go on and themselves become abused because they've never known anything else mm -hmm. or in a couple where you know the, the 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 partner abuses the other partner and how often the partner cries out by presenting with things like cancer mm -hmm. and the link is basically that the brain is literally just secreting very negative messengers which impact negatively on the way the immune cells work and therefore laying that person wide open to developing cancer. So in my, in, my, in my practice, I never just look at the immune system of the individual. Yes, I'm able to help them, but I also investigate what is the underlying psychological stressors that that person is actually facing in order to be able to beat this chronic disease. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing I really battle with, and I'm talking about my colleagues here in South Africa especially, you know, when, we, when the oncologist diagnoses someone with, with a particular cancer, the typical thing is, oh, well, Mrs. X, you know, you have just diagnosed you with breast cancer, and with this chemotherapy, you have 25% chance, uh, 25 chance of survival. Well, we're all human. We don't hear 25% chance of positive outcome. We systematically kick into the 75% chance of failure. Failure. And there's just nothing that really gets to me in the way that a chronic di diagnosis is given to someone that way without offering them anything positive. So, I, you know, these people come and consult, and I say to them, well, do you believe a stats? Are you, uh, are you basically a stats according to a book of an oncologist? No, you have your brain. I always tell them that the best medication is the brain, that gray matter between their two ears. So we start from the psychological aspect getting them to think positively, to grab this diagnosis, mm. and to turn it around, and to make something positive of, you know, of the whole thing. Boy, that, and, and that's obviously you, within... I was going to say, Dr. Sorry. Buick, I didn't mean to step on you, but when you have cancer, and you're stage four, it takes, I, I must tell you, it, it takes a considerable effort to marshal that yeah. optimism, because, I mean, you're... You're one step away, right, from dying. Mm -hmm. it's, not, yes. it's not easy, but it can be done, yes? It can be done. I totally agree with you, Dr. Galka. And, I mean, I haven't been there, so it might, it might sound very foolish of me or very naive of me to be able to talk like this. But, in a way, I really believe it's never too late. 
Mm-hmm. It's never too late to turn that around on condition that you have people around you to provide you with the support and to really get those positive thoughts flowing. Well, you know, I can... I patients can t- who were diagnosed maybe 20 years ago, mm. and they're still living today, and yet they had been given three months to, to three live. Three months to live. It just shows. Right. It just shows how positive thoughts can actually impact. Well, you know, and people that listen to the show regularly know my story, that on October the 5th at 5 o'clock, that's when my life changed, and so did I, when my oncologist said, you know, diagnosed me with ca- cancer. And then after a series of tests and three surgeries uh, for biopsies, they figured out that I had been infected with a virus, caused HPV-16, caused head and neck cancer, squamous cell carcinoma, the cervical lymph nodes, and then they found a small lesion on my lung by accident, incidental. It was a small one. Um, I was stage four. Just a few weeks ago, my doctor said to me, you know, I've been trying to save your life for five months. And <laughs> because I have to do additional chemo, and I'll explain why I come back. And I want to go to Dr. Buick's point. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I did not struggle with trying to stay optimistic. Hmm? I'll tell you more. When your alarm goes off, Do you jump out of bed with excitement? Or does it take multiple alarms, a few snooze buttons, or a morning caffeine fix to get you going? These habits and daily stress cause a vicious cycle in which sleep becomes increasingly elusive. In fact, 54% of Americans report struggles to fall or stay asleep. For a better night's rest, look no further than Solace, an all-natural dietary supplement that supports healthy sleep and relaxation so you get the rest you need to wake up clear-eyed, alert, and ready for the day. Solace has given thousands a better night's rest and the power to take back their mornings while enjoying the day ahead of them. Solace is formulated with non-addictive, scientifically proven, all-natural ingredients that support sleep and relaxation, such as melatonin, tryptophan, and 5-HTP. For more information or to order Solace, visit takesolace.com. Solace, for healthy sleep, naturally. Looking for the perfect complement to your beauty regimen? Try Form Essentials Zinnia. The finest of its kind, Zinnia offers twice as much biotin as other formulas, which has proven to unlock the vibrancy in even the dullest of hair, skin, and nails. Zinnia breaks through and rejuvenates cells internally, helping you achieve the allure of effortless beauty. Reviving your hair, skin, and nails has never been easier. This essential blend of biotin, alpha-lipoic, and hyaluronic acid, collagen, and vitamin C creates lasting enhancements to your natural good looks. Don't go on wondering. You're worth the results. This combination of ingredients can only be found in Zinnia. Pamper yourself with a proven bit of affordable luxury and start looking your best. Ask for Zinnia by name at your nearest vitamin retailer to begin your journey to restored nails, head-turning hair, and radiant skin today. For more information, visit formessentials.com.
Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition, wherever and however you may be listening or watching the show. It could be in South Africa, where my guest is today, Dr. Patrick Buick, who is an immunopathologist. And he, it's interesting to hear a scientist talk about emotions, optimism, you know, these more abstract concepts and connect it to health generally and the immune system specifically. Mm -hmm. Now, it turns out that Dr. Buick knows a thing or two about the immune system. Imagine that. And how chemically it works and what chemicals affect it and so on. And emotions are chemically based. But there's a product called ModuCare. Modulate, mod, I guess, ModuCare. And it's a, it's a plant-based dietary supplement and it's interesting because it's made up of compounds that affect the immune system in a very specific way. Dr. Buick, welcome back. I just wanted to mention to you that when I was told I was stage four at the time and <laughs> I'm optimist, I'm an optimist by nature, but I will confess there have been moments when there are days when it's very difficult to muster that optimism, but in the end, the dominant response emerges when under stress. That is a principle in psychology that holds pretty much true. And eventually, the optimism surfaces. But if you're a pessimist, that will surface too. I'm just saying. So what does... Well, well, what, then, well done, Dr. Darker. I'm, I'm, I'm very proud and, in fact, very moved to have heard what you have just you know, spoken about because mm. I too pick up, you know, the vibes when I when I speak to people, irrespective of the distance. And I must say, you do come across as a as as a true optimist that so we will beat this. You yeah. will beat this this diagnosis. Well, well thank then. you, thank you so much. Um, today I see my oncologist, and we will he will schedule me now for three more months of chemo as preventive as prevention mm -hmm. uh, because I had. Um, a visceral pleural intrusion of the lesion into the pleura or invasion and I went from stage 1A to 1B um, so we're going to do another three more months of chemo and so I'm just going to try to maintain my optimism but I must ask you immunopathologist pathology usually means something with disease what, how do you define immunopathologist Okay, my you know my, my basic training obviously in France was to do with the way that the immune system functions. So immunopathology is the dysfunction of normality. In other uh. words, it's the dysfunction of a dysregulated immune response. Typical example would be chronic inflammatory conditions. You know we have inflammation, which can be good; it's tissue repairing. But the moment that that control mechanism fails and we pass into the realms of chronic inflammation, then it becomes a pathological process. Mm. So the typical example would be people with, let's say, rheumatoid arthritis, uh -huh. or people with um, diabetes as a chronic inflammatory condition. And we now know that cardiovascular disease is also linked with chronic inflammation. So those are all pathological processes due to the lack of regulation which the immune system should have. Mm -hmm. So it's either a, a, a fault in the signaling or a decrease in the signaling of very important immune regulatory. How, how does ModuCare, as a nutraceutical, constituted of sterols and sterolins, participate in trying to bring the immune system back to balance or homeostasis, if that's what it's trying to do? Yeah, very, very good question. And I think, you know, what we were able to show, you know, and, and publish, obviously, and also under clinical trial conditions, we showed that ModuCare is not just a simple immune booster. We have loads of immune boosters, which we all know about. ModuCare works differently, and that is, if there is an imbalance, it brings about the balance of that regulated system. You know, there are different types of lymphocytes called 
T helper cells or CD4 positive cells. We all know about CD4 positive cells because these are the cells which are targeted in HIV. But needless to say, there are different subtypes of these CD4 cells. On the one hand, we have T helper 1, and on the other hand, we have T helper 2. But so if we imagine a seesaw, you know, when we go to the kids' playground, we see these children, you know, going on a seesaw. If you have a big, heavy person on the one end of that seesaw, the little child has got no chance of bringing about the balance. So the, what Modicare does, it brings about that balance by providing more help to where it's needed. What's critical to know, though, is that seesaw is balancing on a fulcrum, which happens to be our GIT, our gastrointestinal tract, because that happens to be one of the biggest immune organs. It's residing in our gastrointestinal tract. And they in that tract are incredibly important immune regulatory cells that if they're not triggered, we have the seesaw going haywire, either too heavy on one side and too light on the other side, so we get these mad swings. And that is when immunopathology or pathology kicks in. I see. And we see all these systemic chronic conditions, including obviously chronic inflammation. I understand. Eight seven. Uh, please give us a call. You can get in touch with Dr. Buick this way. At 877-897-8255. 877 Don't hesitate to call. Um, turns out that uh, if... Let's say you have a person who has an autoimmune disease, been diagnosed, or they've had cancer, or they have heart disease. You know, immune system participates in heart disease. People don't get that, but it does. Um, does the sterols and sterolins, which are fat, fat compounds, fat molecules, right? They're, they're, they're fat. They're plant fats. They are plant fats. They are the, pl the fats of the, they are, I always say they are the cholesterol of the plants. Plants don't make cholesterol. We make cholesterol. We ingest cholesterol. But the plants actually make these molecules known as sterols and sterolins. This is interesting. These sterols and sterolins, <laughs> although a fat, uh, we don't hear much about the plant. We don't talk, we talk about animal fat a lot saturated sat in a saturated form but plants have fats too these sterols and sterolins are really interesting compounds and you can see it listening to dr buick and you know get a sense of the, how they're participating in the function of the immune system so dr buick somebody who's had cancer would it be a good idea to take maju care very much so, Dr. Garko. Okay. You know, when it comes to cancer or chronic, let's say chronic, um, you know, bacteria or chronic viral disease, what we need to do there is to, in fact, enhance the functioning of immune cells, which we'll are... We'll be right back. Are you waking up each day to the life you have to live or to the life you want to live? Better health shouldn't be left to chance. Smart choices to living longer and stronger include making Kyolic Aged Garlic Extract a part of your daily routine. For years, medical researchers have recommended adding Kyolic to the diet as a powerful tool to enhancing overall heart and immune health. Recent clinical studies at UCLA Medical Center using Kyolic suggest that garlic may slow plaque formation in the arteries and support healthy cholesterol and homocysteine levels. Previous research also shows Kyolic may enhance your immune system defenses. Kyolic is organic, odorless, and the only antioxidant garlic supplement available worldwide. Maintaining a healthier you could extend your life. Your wellness begins with Kyolic Aged Garlic Extract. Available everywhere fine nutritional supplements are sold. Visit Kyolic.com That's K-Y-O-L-I-C dot com. Or call 1-800-421-2998 for a free sample today. Still looking for your fountain of youth? It's Zinnia. Look no further than the beauty aisle of your favorite health and nutrition store. Zinnia is the newest product from Form Essentials, the brand that brought you solace. So you know it's filled with the highest quality ingredients. Many cosmetic products only treat topically, while Zinnia addresses aging and hair loss from within. Formulated to support the growth of radiant hair, skin, and nails, Zinnia is sure to help you turn back the hands of time and assist you in aging gracefully. Zinnia provides a spectrum of key vitamins and other evidence-based natural ingredients, such as alpha-lipoic acid, 
biotin, and collagen and elastin peptides, all combined in one capsule for your convenience. By promoting beauty from the inside out, you're strengthening your cells and creating a lasting enhancement to your natural beauty. Zinnia fits into your daily routine and can be taken to boost your current cosmetic products. Available now at leading health and nutrition stores. Ask for Zinnia by name. Start taking Zinnia hair, skin, and nails today and get ready to look amazing. The latest trend to hit the store shelves has the whole country buzzing. Cannabidiol, or CBD, might just be the greatest discovery of our generation. And it comes from a plant that is not so new, agricultural hemp. Yes, after 70 years of prohibition and misunderstanding, hemp is back to help you stay healthy and balanced. Growing research is showing that we have a lot to learn from the remarkable hemp plant. Nutrient-rich products like Plus CBD Oil's Total Plant Complex concentrated products provide broad-spectrum nutrition, including fatty acids, plant sterols, cannabinoids, terpenes, and naturally occurring vitamin E. From seed to shelf, all Plus CBD Oil products provide the highest quality hemp-derived CBD products available and are offered in a variety of delivery systems and flavors to suit your needs. Ask your local independent health food store about Plus CBD Oil products by CV Sciences today and learn more about the CBD evolution at pluscbdoil.com. That's pluscbdoil.com. Did you know that the most common form of calcium supplement today is calcium carbonate, also known as limestone? You don't eat rocks as part of your balanced diet, so why would you choose to supplement your bone health nutritional needs with limestone? Our bodies understand and seek whole food sources of nutrition. New Chapter is proud to deliver Bone Strength Take Care, a calcium complex that delivers key bone health nutrients in the form of whole food, not rocks. Bone Strength Take Care also delivers key bone nourishing nutrients including vitamins D3 and K2. Vitamin K2 is of critical importance as it ensures calcium is placed in the bone where it's needed and stays out of the arteries where it's not. Discover for yourself the whole food bone health alternative to rocks. Bone Strength Take Care, the best selling natural bone health supplement in America. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. The ever-increasing stress and toxicity we are exposed to from our environment, diets, and lifestyles make internal cleansing a necessary part of a good health regimen. Founded in 1980, Yerba Prima was the first company to launch a whole-body internal cleansing kit. Since that time, they have continued to develop and manufacture a complete range of all-natural, high-quality fiber and internal cleansing products. By using all-natural psyllium fiber and no harmful stimulant laxatives, all Yerba Prima fiber and internal cleansing products can be used over a long period of time to ensure optimal health and regularity. With nearly 30 years dedicated to all-natural cleansing products, it's easy to see why Yerba Prima is a leader in the fiber and cleansing products category. Learn more at yerbaprima.com, Y-E-R-B-A-P-R-I-M-A.com, or visit your local health retailer. Yerba Prima, pioneer in internal cleansing products. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Jaro Formulas, superior nutrition and formulation. Natural factors where great health begins. Kyolic, aging makes the finest garlic truly odorless. A. Vogel, Europe's leading brand of herbal medicine. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition. Uh, here's the LTN hor- uh, <laughs> hormone. Here's the LTN <laughs> Here's the LTN. Uh, question of the day I was I mentioned a particular um, on the study on laughter earlier I was uh, mentioning a particular uh, category of hormones they're, they're called feel-good hormones in the brain and um, I was wondering if you remembered what I said usually I give a well you know it's going to be harder for you to to do it that way let me help you out did I mention uh, endorphins? Did I mention serotonin? Or was it dopamine? Which one did I mention that? There's another one, too, uh, oxytocin, okay? Now, those four home, four home hormones are listed with feeling good. 
But which one did I focus on? Was it endorphins, serotonin, dopamine, or oxytocin? Or they're all considered happy hormones, if you will, making you feel good. But which one did I mention? Here's a number, $25 supplement gift card if you have the right answer. You can reach us at 877-897-8255. That's 877-897-8255. Dr. Buick, uh, ModuCare, how long has it been on the marketplace? Well, Dr. Gaka, we started working on ModuCare way back in about 1991. That was when we first started demonstrating its immune potentiating or immune modulating properties, obviously in the test tube in vitro. And from there, we moved over into um, clinical trials, in other words, trying it under different uh, clinical conditions, such as HIV disease and tuberculosis, sports people, and, you know, that's, that's where we are, well, where we were then. And, but it's been on the market, I would think, commercially here in South Africa since 1996. So it's been I quite see. a while. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, is it sold in different countries? Oh, yes, very much so. It's still very much a South African product, and it gets exported, um, obviously, to Canada, to the U.S., to the European countries, hmm. um, also to Australasia as well. So it's a pretty global, global product. Do you find that doctors in Europe will integrate it into clinical practice more so than doctors in North America? You know, it's a good question. I think what's, what's happened here in South Africa is because there's been a lot of information, a lot of publications available, you know, to the public and also to our clinical colleagues that they do know about the product. And in fact, if they don't know how to use the product, they would refer the, pa the patients to come and consult with me. So it's very much, uh, it's very well accepted. Um, the oncologists especially know about the benefits of using it together with chemotherapy. Hmm. It doesn't interfere with chemotherapy. It doesn't interfere with chemotherapy. It does not. Are you sure, are, are you convinced, if you were doing chemotherapy, would you take it? I would certainly, it would be one of the first supplements I would swallow every morning. Why? Because it potentiates the immune cells which actually fight off the cancer. And the chemotherapy, the only dangers of using any supplements with chemotherapy are those that actually negate the, the oxidative damage. Right. Antioxidants. You don't, you don't want to kill the free radicals. You don't, exactly. You want the chemotherapy to do its job. Now, Modicare does not have antioxidant properties. It potentiates the immune cells so that those so-called cytotoxic T cells go about looking out for those cancer cells and getting rid of them. Outstanding. It does not interfere with chemotherapy. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that. Let's go to Largo, Florida. It's pretty nice there. I don't know if it's raining there today, but it might be. Joan, welcome to the show. You wanted to comment on Modricare? Yes, uh, I, I wanted to say to Dr. Buick, Salagasli, who jumbo. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow, brilliant, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Um, yes, I, I had experience with Magicare about 10 years ago. I had severe allergies here in Florida. Dr. Buick, the ground is so sandy and dirty. When I mowed the lawn, I had to wear a face mask because my allergies were so severe. And I took Magicare for about a year and a half, and no more face mask, no more Zyrtec, no more trying wow. to mask the symptoms. I'm cured of my allergies. By the way, Dr. Buick, jo Joan is a, uh, is a, tell them what you do for a living. I'm a, a cardiac cath nurse. I put stents in coronary arteries. I've been doing that yeah. since 1990. Yeah, so she's wow. she's in a medical profession and she's very informed. Yeah. This is a woman that does that. You know, gets up at gets calls at four o'clock in the morning to go in, but she also ferments her food and whatnot. Uh, she's pretty remarkable. She always embarrasses the host of the show. He thinks he's living healthy, <laughs> but <laughs> it's okay. I'm, it's nice to be embarrassed. Well done, Joan. Fantastic. You know, if I may say so, I think modicare and allergies or atopic conditions. It's possibly one of the the conditions which responds the most, the, the most rapidly to the intake of Modicare. That's wonderful. Uh, here, yes. please uh, speed dial me. Get, I'll make the health question easier for you. Which one did I mention? Did I mention endorphins or serotonin? In terms of the study I reported on on laughter and how laughter contributes to the health of people uh, generally, was it endorphins or serotonin? I'll give you a hint. 
it's it starts with a letter that's early in the alphabet. Call this number. 877-897-8255. 877-897-8255. Well, I'm going to see my oncologist today, Dr. Buick, uh, Dr. Matthew Fink, um, who saved my life. And I'm going to ask him about Marjorie. I'm going to tell him what it is. Um, yeah. Because now I'm going to do another three months of chemo, four more rounds as prevention. And I'm going to ask him about taking Marju Care. I didn't take any antioxidants during my chemo and radiation for eight weeks because I wanted the free radicals to do their job. It's an irony. I wanted them to yep. damage the cells, right? Hmm. But you're quite right. You're quite right. But I promise you, I can really assure you. The intake of Modicare with chemotherapy, there's no interaction whatsoever. It does not negate the chemotherapy. It's, in fact, it protects the bone marrow. That's what we actually noticed okay. in the people who do receive the chemo. The bone marrow does not take that horrible knock you know, of you know, low platelets and low cell counts. Dr. Buick, it's the only problem with you being a guest is you're not on often enough. We love you. Mark, what's the answer? Real quick. Uh, Answer is endorphins. Thank you for the show. You, my pleasure. Congratulations, Mark. Dr. Buick, um, I, I hope I get a chance to meet you in person. I, I like I like the connection. I get a great sense of connection here. Uh, I would look forward to hopefully, hopefully meeting you. I don't know how, when, or where, under what circumstance, but it might happen. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll make a point of that. And, and good luck to Dr. Dargo. And remember, positivity makes us heal. Thank you so much. Your health is your wealth. See you tomorrow.